What was your parents biggest mistake in raising you? My dad used fear as his main parenting strategy, did not turn out well, because none of us have a good relationship with him anymore. That's how it was with us. We were terrified of our dad. His eyes could go black in an instant. There were very few physical punishments, but you felt like he could kill you at any moment. It really ducked me up when it comes to asking for anything. The answer as a kid was always an angry, intimidating no. Then when we ever had issues with a teacher or authority figure my dad would wonder aloud why we wouldn't just stand up for ourselves. Because he taught us to be ducking terrified of his authority and never question it, ever, because even the question was punishable. They let their fear of dealing with their own trauma turn into causing and ignoring mine. So true. And due to that fear they pretended that they had dealt with their trauma which made it even harder to have any kind of meaningful conversations about it. They cared but not about the right things. They took the easy way out with me. I was reprimanded but not taught. Zero communication. The way they used to communicate through me because they wouldn't speak to each other after they separated. When I had to deliver a message from one parent that the other one didn't like, I was the one who was yelled at, and both of them asked me to side with them instead of the other. There was no way to win, because I always either made mummy sad or daddy sad. Good times. Violently screaming at me for bad grades or poor performance in sports. I think it had the opposite effect where I became afraid of making any mistakes, which would lead to more mistakes. Feel like if your kid is underperforming in any way, there's a way to talk to them without making them feel stupid for ducking up. There are better ways to motivate them. Taught me nothing about nutrition. Let me eat junk. And made excuses for my obesity. Took me 10 years as an adult to finally take responsibility for myself and shed the weight. Well my dad's ducking great but my mother. Constant screaming for everything. Depriving me of any and all food a lot of the time. Punishment for things someone else did. Invasion of privacy. Not giving a duck about my mental health. Not giving up custody to my dad. Constantly degrading me. Way I I I I to sheltered. I will definitely shelter my kids to an extent and raise them. Right but my parents took it to the extreme. I was only allowed to play with religious children and wasn't allowed to watch movies besides basically Disney movies until I was in high school. This led to a pretty rebellious phase when I was around 15 that I think could have been avoided if my parents weren't so strict. Due to them giving me insane social anxiety, I now have the social skills of the new kid in elementary school. I can't hold a conversation for more than 5 minutes without making people uncomfortable. I have proceeded to lose all of my friends due to this, and am now sad and lonely. Never admitting that they did something wrong. An example is, that when I was in second grade my mom would literally yell and scold me, because she thought that have was spelled have. And that also confused me with the word had. Even though at school the teachers and everyone else spelled have. When I got home she would scold me for spelling it correctly, until I told her that that's how everyone else spelled it. She just looked at the paper and never said a word about it again. So now I always think that whatever I'm doing is wrong, or if something did go wrong, and was clearly out of my control I still get nervous. Also, thanks. The total lack of boundaries, based on the belief that they had raised us to be responsible and smart, even though clear evidence were present that we were not. Keeping me's, honestly. It would have been nice to hear they were proud of me just once. Don't want to overdo it. This one. Raised on a farm. Worked like a rented mule. Never once did I hear a thank you or good job. Lots of screaming about what I ducked up or got wrong. Like Duckman I'm 14. And not a mechanic carpenter etc. I'm 63 now and this still grinds me. I make sure I say something nice to my son every day. Sheltering trying to protect us from everything so once we got older we had to learn how to communicate and have relationships with people who already knew how to do all those things. Really messed my brother and I up mentally and I feel guilty for resenting my parents. 
not making health a priority. My mom never stood up for herself or us, and let our father scream at us, and take his anger out on us. She's still with him, and won't apologize for letting him mistreat us. Complete apathy. My parents basically never got involved in me, or my siblings lives. Never attended things like school plays or parents evenings. Never cared about how things were going, or what was going on. So long as we didn't get into trouble, and didn't cause them problems they didn't care, and took no interest. Anything for peace and quiet as my mother frequently said. As such. Because they never tried to be a part of my life. They effectively aren't a part of my life anymore. We only speak out of obligation. And not very often at that. Giving me no privacy. My parents snooped way too much. Searching my clothes drawers for hidden things. Checking my phone. Eavesdropping on my conversations. Talking about my private life to their friends. As if it was hot gossip. Spying me when I was out. Asking their friends to report it. If they ever saw me out and around. Checking my mail. Checking the computer history every time I used it. Listening to my CDs to check they were appropriate. Arranging additional meetings with my teachers to ask about me. Asking me personal questions all the time. Basically not giving me any space to just be me. They also made a lot of jokes about me to other people. Right in front of my face. I often felt like I was their pet more than an actual human. I'm now deeply self-conscious and suspicious as a result. I always have this feeling that people are watching and judging me. My mom always meant well, but I have body dysmorphia for life. I'm sharing. Because if any parents are reading this, you should be diligent about how you talk about your body in front of your kids. Don't talk about needing to lose or gain weight unless it's for health reasons. Don't put yourself down about how you look in front of your kids. This creates doubt and body image issues from the jump and that sticks with you forever. Ladling out too much guilt and shame. They are not motivational forces for me to be better. In fact quite the opposite was true. Also telling me that I wasn't good at math. Sure, it wasn't my strongest subject. But don't tell a kid that they will never ever succeed at a subject due to some inherent shortcomings. Playing favorites. My brother was allowed to grow marriage lander as an experiment by my very straight-laced and anti-drug parents. In fact they were enthusiastically supportive. Not so much for me. That's just one example. Basically he could have pissed in my face and out folks would have blamed me. They always made me feel like I was inadequate because I wasn't like him. My brother is a classic grandiose narcissist. Never teaching me to be independent. My guardian was obsessed with keeping me way too close and I was always sheltered and now I'm alone and don't know how to function. Leaving me to my own devices, so long as my grades were good. Not teaching me much of anything outside of knowing right from wrong. Outside of being kept alive I pretty much raised myself. Mom's personality is very complicated and toxic. But what I really hated as a kid was that she didn't want me to grow up. She didn't teach me how to do laundry, pack my clothes, how to swim, anything. She was also overly protective, and I still cope with bunch of irrational fears as an adult. When I was 11 I was really ashamed that kids my age are much more self-sufficient. She was sabotaging me anytime I tried to do some adult stuff like cooking, taking care of myself, nothing illegal I was well behaved kid. At this time she started ruining our relationship with her behavior. I feel like she hates me for growing up and not being baby anymore sheltering me. They taught me to always put others before myself, and I did this to the point of not knowing when to back out of toxic relationships. I think they were so afraid I was going to turn into a spoiled brat that they continued to humble me even to the point of my detriment in front of my then friends. I'm in my 20s now and have learned to look for the red flags, but it took a lot of getting walked all over in both platonic and romantic relationships. Spanking is up there at the top of the list. My parents weren't just spankers though. They would get physical objects and beat the living duck out of us with it. My father almost always used his thick leather belt a few times I caught the buckle and got cuts from it. 
My mother preferred to use stuff like wooden spoons and those old vintage Tupperware spatulas and a soup ladle. She told us that she couldn't hit us hard enough with her hands to do any good. My brother and I got these beatings for every minor thing we did. Yelling too loudly while playing games. Arguing. Talking back. Having a messy room. Forgetting your homework at school. Getting an F. It was the go to punishment. A few years ago, when my daughter was two, she was having a tantrum over something or other while my mother was around, and she started going on about how I needed to introduce spankings to control her, and that if I didn't, my daughter would soon be walking all over me because she wasn't afraid of the consequences. My daughter is disabled by the way. My mother wanted me to beat my disabled child because she was upset about something. When I told her I didn't parent that way. She got really upset and started her bullshit oh I'm just the worst mother ever. You had it so bad. You were abused. Cry me a river and I had to tell her to leave my house. They taught me nothing about money. They thought children shouldn't worry about money. But I wish they had. Taking me to a non-denominational Pentecostal like church that was a breath away from being a cult. I went from the time I was born until around 17 years old. We went on average 3 times a week, twice on Sunday. It's hard to understand all that is going on when you are that young. It's hard to understand it now, when the gifts of the spirit started progressing and coming into play more during the services. I could only put together pieces that I could comprehend. As a result, I literally thought the preachers could read my mind. As a result I did what I could to stay out of sight and out of mind which was easy since I was a middle child anyway. But when I would get pulled up to the prayer line I would try extra hard to hide things in the back of my brain. That taught me early on how to compartmentalize and section off parts of myself and especially my emotions. I would be scared when I was up there. If I shed a tear everyone around me would celebrate that the spirit was acting on me. I was crying because I was scared and didn't want to be there. I was one of those gifted kids that do very well in school without much effort. My parents were used to it, so they never praised me for my results and expected me to always do good by default. This resulted in me thinking that very good was just average and constantly striving for perfection in any aspect of my life. This led to countless problems that I needed therapy to solve. I have OCD and ADHD. Apparently my parents never noticed. I brought home a report card every semester with lack effort. No motivation. Can't focus written all over it and no one ever did anything. I had to discover what was wrong with me on my own. And fix it in my 20s. A lot of do as I say, not as I do. And guidance that fell apart pretty quickly when the rubber hit the road. All in all. My parents did a good job of raising me and my brother, but both of us have had to drastically learn lots of lessons that probably could have been better instilled earlier on. One teaching it's never okay to lie is an awful life lesson for keeping yourself out of trouble. Two being a member of the clean plate club teaches kids to keep eating when they're full. Three teaching that the man is head of household when that doesn't work in a lot of relationships. Not me specifically, but my brother. Often when he ducked up in school my mum would say something along the lines of why can't you be more like your brother. It's not exactly given him the confidence of a champion. I can say, even though he's really talented. My mum says she regrets saying it though. Consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more of Reddit Universe, 